is Lecture 10b. It ha contains some examples on taking the derivatives of parametric equations. Let's we'll start out looking again at the circle. If you remember from the um, lecture on the calculus of parametric equations, the first derivative of the circle, this is the curve in the xy plane, is minus the cotangent of t. Let's now find the second derivative. Okay, the second derivative is, um, is this not written on here? The second derivative is the, equal to the derivative with respect to t of the first derivative divided by dx by dt. So the derivative, the time derivative of the first, that means we're taking the time derivative of the cotangent of t. Okay? We take that time derivative, we get cosecant squared t. Now in the numerator, we're going to have the derivative of x, dx by dt, which is minus 10 sine t, as it was before for the first derivative. So here's your second derivative. It is cosecant squared t, which is here, minus divided by minus 10 times the sine of t, which you can rewrite as minus 1 over 10 times actually cosecant cubed of t. So now we're going to take the first and second derivatives of another parametric equation that doesn't have a, a nifty form like this circle and follow this through and then I'll, there's a graph at the end. We're also going to find the points where the slope is horizontal and the slope and where the slope is vertical. So here's our parametric equation right here. x equals t squared minus t and y is t cubed minus 2t. So we, first we're going to compute um, well, we're going to need the derivatives with respect to time, so we'll go ahead and take them. dx by dt, of course, using the power rule is 2t minus 1. The derivative of y with respect to t, again, using the power rule, is 3t squared minus 2. The first derivative is a ratio of these two. So dy by dx, which is the ratio, it's the, I'm sorry, the derivative in the xy plane of that curve is 3t squared minus 2 over 2t minus 1. The slope is vertical, where the derivative, where the denominator, dx by dt, is 0, but the numerator is not. Well, the derivative, dx by dt, is equal to 2t minus 1, is 0, when t is 0 0.5. At this point, the derivative of y with respect to t is not 0, so this is the point in the xy plane where the derivative, where you would have a vertical slope. In order to put this into the xy plane, we need to know the points there. So let's substitute t of 1 half into our original equations, which were right here. And we find that it is at these values of x and y where the slope would be vertical. Now let's look for the horizontal slope. The horizontal slope, the numerator, dy by dx, is 0. This occurs when t is plus or minus the square root of 2 over 3. At these points, if it's going to be a horizontal slope, then dx by dt, that is the denominator, cannot be 0, and that's true. It's not 0 at those points. Now we have to find the points along the curve that correspond to these horizontal slopes so we can draw them in. Right. So we substitute t of the square root 3 over 2 over 3 and, the, and t equal minus the square root, two, um, square root of 2 over 3. I don't know why I can't say that. And we substitute at, into our original equations and we find values for x and y at those particular times. Here's a section of that uh, of the curve pertaining to those parametric equations. The equations are listed right here. There is no easy Cartesian form for these. But we, would, we took the derivative and then we located the points on the curve where the derivative was vertical and that was uh, x of minus 0 0.25 and y of negative 0 0.75. And that's shown right here. The curve was horizontal at two points when x was about 1.48 and y was uh, a little over 1. That's this point right here. There was another point where the curve, um, the slope was horizontal, or the derivative was horizontal, and that's uh, about 0 x of negative 0 0.15 and y of minus 1 point something. 
So here in red, what we have is in red, we've traced out that curve. And we traced out that curve by finding at each time we put the value of time we're interested in, we put it into those original equations, the ones that are shown right here. From that, we get an xy pair, and we plot that point, and we continue advancing time and advancing around this curve. Right. Although these are functions, parametrically, x is a function of t, it's a polynomial, same with y, the curve is not a function in the xy plane. That's okay. We still call them parametric, these are parametric equations, and they were functions in terms of the parameter. Then we evaluated the derivative, and that would have given us the slope in the xy plane. Okay. And we can find the points where the slope is vertical, and find points where the slope is horizontal by looking at the original derivatives of dx by dt and dy by dt. We could have taken the second derivative for this, but all it is is messy. Um, you have some opportunity on the homework to practice taking first and second derivatives. If you have any questions, you can um, uh, talk to me about them in recitation sections or um, give me a call.